There's really only one way to safely grow your range or improve your vocal range, and this is how. First, we have two components. We have something called our chest voice and something called our head voice, which is also interchangeably called falsetto. I don't want to go into all the details because some of these definitions could mean different things to different people. One person might call head voice, hey, or anything that resonates in the head, while another person might call head voice, or anything that resonates in a falsetto register. So for my purpose, I'm going to use the term head voice to talk about reinforced falsetto, not just something that resonates into the head as what classically uh, is termed head voice, okay? Now, so we have chest voice and what we wanna do is we wanna stretch and grow our chest voice as high as we can. Now I cover this in my How to Sing Better Than Anyone Else course where first we stretch and grow a big, powerful, robust chest sound. And I'll demonstrate, let's do this together. With a nice bright ah, Males, you're going to start here. Ladies, you're actually going to be up and I'll show you where you would come in in a minute. But we're going to start with an A vowel. Let's go. Nice, bright, open throat where if you had a mirror, you could look back in your throat and your tongue will be dropped to the base of the jaw and you're creating the maximum amount of space in the back of the throat with good diaphragmatic support and relaxing and not letting the shoulders, the chest, neck, or throat uh, create tension. For most baritones and high baritones, this is about the breaking point for you where you feel so much tug in the throat where you want to transition from your chest voice and flip into your falsetto. Now ladies, for the alto and contraltos, most of you start here. La Ladies, most of you start to feel the tug around the C, the high tenor C, uh, or the D, and the, that's the D5, or the, the C5, the beginning of the C5, that's the highest note in the tenor range, or one of the highest notes in the tenor range, is about where you start to feel that tug, where you want to flip into your head voice. So what we do is we use our diaphragm and the strength in our abdomen to relax our chest, our neck, and our throat, to have that nice bright sound with a big open throat we just talked about where the uvula and the soft palate in the back of the throat rises as we start to ascend these scales. Once we get to the point that we stretch this as far as we feel we can comfortably, we work this area to make it a nice, robust, strong, strong sound. Now, then, once we're all done with that, we come back with a nice bright timbrel sound from our head voice and we stretch that down into our chest voice. Now guys and gals, you both can do this in the same registration. So I'm gonna start here. Now make sure the sound is nice and bright so that that brightness is what's really giving us the strength to match the tonal quality from our head voice or falsetto and match it to our chest register so that we can start to bring that down into our chest voice and eventually mix the sound. So.
Okay, now, ladies, most of the time, women have a tough time with their falsetto, and guys, some of you will have experienced this as well, where your falsetto or your head voice is very fluty. And you can't get good chord closure to create that bright timbral sound. That being said, or that being the case, don't start and lean into the sound so heavy. Work first on getting good chord closure and that nice bright timbral sound, again, that matches your chest voice so that you can actually have one long powerful registration where no one will know that you're going from your chest through the passaggio, which is the passageway, mixed voice, on into head voice. Now there are some exercises that we can do called sliders in order to be able to facilitate this. First, you're gonna need to do them very lightly, and then after you have done them lightly where you can connect without hearing the break and, and cutting back the air for this nice bright sound, little by little as you build muscle strength, you can start to lean into the sound more and more. And that will be something like this. La, 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 la. You hear how I can go from my chest register into my head register in back where you don't hear the break? So you want to force the throat to stay open so it doesn't spasm and regurgitate and, and, and literally yodel through the la, la, and create that yodeling sound. I call it a speed bump. La, go up and down the scale as comfortable as you can to where you can start to build this connection over time. Now this isn't something that happens right away and again I want to emphasize first we build chest voice then we build head voice and then we build this connection uh, quietly softly and then little by little lean into that sound to match our robust chest voice with the robust powerful head voice that we've developed. Okay? Thank you for joining me, Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. I see the pictures of make ladies. Respect the loot, I get the girl. They say I look cool in my Mercedes.